just to make that clear, we're not talking about the the cartoon character or the movie character or the Wolverine. We're talking about the animal today. I've been curious about the myths and folklore about Wolverines for a while, since they live just a bit further up the mountain here and is one of our larger predators. So when my friend Jonquil asked me to write about them, I couldn't resist. And now I'm making a video about them too. Let's start with some facts about the wolverine. Wolverines live as solitary animals in isolated northern areas like the Arctic, Alpine regions of Alaska, northern Canada, Siberia and Scandinavia. They're also native to Russia and the Baltic countries. The wolverine is an opportunist and eats mostly carrion small animals, the eggs of ground nesting birds and berries. On occasion it also kills sheep and reindeer. An adult individual is 70 to 85 centimeters long. That's 27.5 to 33.5 inches for those of you who use that measurement. With the addition of a tail that's 15 to 25 centimeters or 5.9 to 9.8 inches. The female weighs on average 8 to 12 kilograms or 17.6 to 26.4 pounds and the male 12 to 18 kilograms or 26.4 to 36.7 pounds. It has a long thick coat that's dark brown, almost black, with a lighter band along the side of the body and on its forehead. It has large feet in relation to its body size, which are well suited to moving and digging in the snow. The five toes have claws that make it a good climber. The wolverine has excellent hearing and a sense of smell, but the vision is poorly developed. It's generally shy of humans and usually stays away from populated areas. In many areas, it's been decimated by hunting and is therefore a protected species in many countries. In Norway, however, there's still some hunting going on by license from the government if the sheep or reindeer owners feel threatened and I don't like their methods. Sometimes they actually go into the den during the winter and kill off both the cubs and the mother. That pisses me off. So let's get to the folklore and myths. This animal shows up in the stories, myths and legends of northern people in both the eastern and western hemispheres, although not to the same extent as, for example, the wolf. In many areas, it's seen as a glutton and it's worked itself into the languages. In French-speaking parts of Canada, the wolverine is referred to as a carajou, a French corruption of an indigenous American word meaning evil spirit or mountain devil. In France, its name is glouton, which means glutton. In Germany, it's filfras, devours a lot. Even the Latin name gluto gluto relates to glutton. In Scandinavian folklore, it is said to be an aggressive murderer, an extremely greedy animal who likes to kill far more than it needs. In medieval copper etchings, you can find pictures of wolverines squeezing themselves between trees. This was said to be because the wolverine, after filling the stomach up to the bursting point, sought out the trees to squeeze the contents out of the stomach, then it could resume its gluttony. One of the theologians of the 18th century, Eric Pontopidon, I think, yeah, said that a wolverine could even eat straight through a stone wall. An old Norwegian superstition says that if you put on wolverine fur, you will become as greedy as the wolverine. Both in Scandinavia and North America, the wolverine has a reputation as an effective burglar of food supplies. Lucian Turner said in his book Indians and Eskimos in the Quebec Labrador Peninsula, ethnology of the Ungava district that the wolverine was seen by the indigenous Americans as embodying all the cunning and mischief that can be contained in the skin of a beast. It's known as a ferocious and aggressive animal 
And here in Scandinavia, they say that even the bear will turn away if faced with a wolverine. There's some evidence that their aggression is just for show, a demonic display performed not as a precursor to a good lashing, but simply to scare away the threat, like a larger predator or human. They can actually be quite playful. Some indigenous American tribes believe that the wolverine possesses special powers and are linked between the spirit and the physical world. They were regarded as the last phantom of the wilderness, master of the forest, and a trickster hero by some tribes. Also, in at least one Innu myth, it is the creator of the world. One folklore that has made itself into the modern world is... Now, I am pretty sure it's not a fact that if a wolverine comes upon a flock of sheep, it will clobber several of them in the head, so they end up walking in circles, and it can come back later and eat them. I am pretty sure that's not a fact. I think it's a myth. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> I've included some of my art in this video. This is a drawing I actually did yesterday. The reason why the video was a couple of days late is because I wanted to include that and I had to wait until it was finished. Thank you for watching this little summary of the Wolverine. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will share it with your friends. Because I think the world needs to see this. They need to hear about the Wolverine as something else than a glutton. Thanks again. I will be back next week with something else.